Hey guys, it's Isaac here for progress video number four. So I'm sorry I haven't made a, one of these in a couple days. I've been really focused on streaming. So if any of you watched my stream, you'll know that I got 75 magic and saved up enough money for a trident. And I have also started a new series which I'm going to be streaming exclusively on Twitch. Sorry if you can hear my stupid dog barking in the background, but, um, anyway, so I'm going to, uh, sorry, my dog is, like, making me lose my train of thought. I am doing a 1,000 Barrows chest, uh, series on Twitch. So far, I've only done 16. First one on the second chest. I got Torag's hammers, which sucked. Right after that, well, I alked the Torag's hammers because otherwise people were buying them for 80k. And then right after that, I got a Torag's plate body, which I intend to keep. Then 10 chests after that, I got a Guthin's home, which I sold to buy more supplies. So taking a quick look at the bank... I'm really low on cash right now. Um, starting to stack up more runes, which is nice. Um, just got pots, food, gear, uh, stuff like that. I had to sell one of my obby capes to uh, have enough money to charge my trident. Just, you know, the usual stuff that you guys have seen a million times. Clue scroll garbage. Um, then we get down to the bottom. This is... My Torax plate body. I was able to get the Varak stuff. Here's my trident. And I bought an Obby shield to test out at Barrows. And I'm going to use it for Slayer when I have a task that I don't need to prey on. Those are some dragon bones that I picked up off the ground. Somebody just dropped 17 noted dragon bones. And a mystic set. And then just more random pots. So, yeah, I'm also going to be live streaming. I'll leave a link in the description. So, yeah, I'll see you guys with the next part. Hey, guys. So, I have gotten a lot of progress done today, and I guess I just forgot to record it. Um, so, that's my bad. Um, I just got a black mask, which is awesome. Um, so, you know, free 550k or however much that costs, but yeah, I did, let's hope I don't get KO'd here while I'm talking to you guys, um, I sold a bunch of runes that I got from Barrows, bought a cannon with the leftover cash, bought cannonballs, and um, actually now would be a good time to escape. I think six minutes should be enough time for my cannon to not decay. But, yeah, it was kind of funny because I got a tooth half, and I was like, oh, yeah, I should record. And then right as I'm opening Camtasia, I get a black mask. Um, wrong guy. But, yeah, so I've decided that I want to get 70 range by killing um, Cave Horrors because I will get a bunch of these along with uh, clue scrolls, so that'll be nice. And while I am here, my uh, cannon is killing more of them. Hopefully, if I get a black mask while it's killing them, I don't miss it. But, yeah, I did Ghosts Ahoy. Um, let's see, yeah, I did Ghosts Ahoy, Pirate's Treasure... Zogre Flesh Eaters, Rum Deal, uh, and then Cabin Fever, obviously. So now I'm just working on camping these to get 70 range. Then uh, hopefully by that time I will go get... Uh, I'm planning on going and getting a Rune Defender and getting 70... Uh, strength. Actually, now that I got this black mask, I might sell it and buy 
a dragon skim because I spent like all of my money on cannonballs. Like, I have no more money left at all, pretty much. Um, so, yeah, pretty soon, after I go to do another clue, just a sec. After I go to do another clue, I will sell the black mask by, uh, Dragon Skim, go get a rune defender, and, uh, yeah. And then I will go back to camping these, and maybe at the same time I'm getting 70 strength, I'll get 70 range from cannoning. So yeah, that'll be cool. Um, I will let you guys know what other progress I get. Yeah, so I just checked my uh, Slayer log. That's why I brought my Enchanted Gem, so I could track how many of these I've killed. I got that Black Mask after only 150 kills. And the drop rate is 1 in 512. Of course, I brought the Ring of Wealth with, so that'll help out a lot, probably. So, it probably, I don't, I'm not sure exactly how much, but I'm probably gonna get at least 2 or 3 every 1,000 kills instead of maybe 1 or 2, if I'm lucky. But, yeah, so. Hopefully, I get enough Black Mask drops and good enough. Uh, clue scroll rewards because these are supposed to drop frequent clue scrolls. I've only had one so far, but I would much rather take a black mask over a clue scroll. Um, so hopefully, I'm able to make enough money from black masks and clue scrolls for uh, the upkeep of the cannonballs. I mean, a black mask is basically equal to 2.5k cannonballs. Or, um, a black mask would also be equal to about 3k cannonballs if I were to buy steel bars and make them all into cannonballs for some nice AFK if I wanted to catch up on a show or something, but yeah. And, uh, I have a bunch of quorms sitting in my bank now, and I didn't feel like buying limpwort roots, so... I uh, get like 50 free super strengths now, which will be nice when I go to get my rune defender finally and when I'm training strength here. Because training range here with a rune crossbow is kind of slow and annoying, and I'd rather just cannon while training strength. So, yeah. Alright, so I got another clue scroll, and... Uh, I will see you guys with the loot, and also I'm going to be live streaming tomorrow if you want to watch me get a rune defender, and if you want to watch me get 70 range. So, yeah, if any of you who watch my live streams, uh, watch my videos, or vice versa, um, I'm putting, very shortly, I'm putting the... 1k Barrow's Chest Challenge on hold so that I can get 70 ranged uh, to do it more efficiently and 70 strength just because I need that anyway. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to do this clue now. Alright, after almost getting raped by a Ceridoman wizard, here it is. I doubt this is the reward, but yep. Alright, I just had that one, so I will go to that next. Alright, this could be the loot. Nope. I'm actually kind of glad that it wasn't, though, because I wasn't wearing my wealth ring. And another cool thing is that this clue is already on Karamja, so I will see you guys momentarily. Alright, well, that wasn't it, so... Yeah, I'm gonna go do this one. Alright, so I am here... And, uh, this could be the loot. Hopefully it is. Come on. Uh, okay, well, I know where that's at. So, I will see you, hopefully, with the loot now, because this is starting to take a while. Alright, this could be the loot. Come on. Come on. Oh my gosh. Please don't be the Legends Quest requirement. Alright, so this is a wilderness clue, so I'm going to teleport out and show you guys the loot after I'm out of the wildy, assuming 
I don't get, uh, assuming I don't get another clue, so, yeah. Alright, so I just tallied out, and this could be the loot. Uh, I guess that's not too terrible. I mean, the purple sweets are like 4k each, and that's, uh, eh, not a bad clue, so. Yeah, I think I'm going to wrap up this video now, upload it while I work on school, and then tomorrow I will live stream for you guys. So, as always, live streaming link will be in the description down below. So, uh, yeah, thank you guys very much for watching, and I will see you guys on my live streams and in the next video.